This episode has been brought to you by FlowState, the unlimited web flow development service. Find out more at flowstate.dev. Hello and welcome to another episode of Webflow and Code where I teach you the underlying code you're writing in Webflow. A little while ago, I created an episode where I showed you how to use the CMS filter and loading from FinSuite. Now, this is a great solution and it's boss mode, so you're gonna wanna go check that out because it's pretty kick ass. But there's one caveat that I mentioned with doing things post page load, which is something I've been mentioning seemingly on all my videos recently. But the issue is if you load something and then load more data after page load, because that data isn't available on the initial page load, it is not indexed by Google and the performance is noticeably bad for this sort of thing. And I said, if you're gonna do this, then the thing that you're gonna add is prerender.io. So today's your lucky day, soldier, because we're gonna be integrating prerender.io. So let's get into it. Okay, so here's pre-render. We're gonna sign up for an account and we will link our uh, Cloudflare account with pre-render. Okay, so when you first load up pre-render, you'll get this integrate pre-render uh, button straight away. So we click this and you're gonna click uh, Cloudflare. It's gonna take you through to a full page version of this, right? So we're gonna to go to Cloudflare. So I've already got my site set up here and if we go into this I'm just going to point something out to you is the C name needs to be proxy.webflow.com the default ones that webflow give you is proxy-ssl.webflow.com remove the SSL and your Cloudflare will now work with Webflow. Right, I'm gonna be honest with you, this isn't exactly the recommended way of doing things because basically I'm not gonna bore you with the details. You've got this break between Cloudflare and your Webflow website where the SSL is in Cloudflare but it doesn't terminate in Webflow so you can't secure that connection. Point is, Cloudflare do a pretty good job of making sure you're uh, connected, but the only way to correctly do this is through the Webflow Enterprise Plan where you can upload the certificate generated by Cloudflare into Webflow and that way they can actually talk to each other and secure that connection. So it's just worth pointing out here, this isn't recommended, it's fairly safe, you do that information what you will. Go back to the main screen here. We're gonna open up workers and page, and then I wanna create a worker. Let's just give it a decent name, flow state, and we can deploy that now. Don't worry about this, we're gonna, we're gonna fix all this now. Cool. And straight away, you're gonna hit edit code. If we go back to pre-render, scroll down, give your worker a name, so we've done that. Hit deploy, we've done that. Click on edit code. I'm gonna open this into a new uh, tab. Copy all that code and then replace all of that. And we can hit deploy. And we hit back now. And what we then want to do is go to settings, go to triggers, and then we hit add root. And do as it says here, uh, dot flow state dot dev slash star. And then we're going to select the, the site that we should already have working. Then we're gonna also go to variables, add a variable here. Inside of your uh, pre-render, you've got this token here. Now go back to thing, paste this in there. And I think this is pre-render token. Cool, deploy that. And that should be everything. I haven't found a good way actually detect whether this is working. All we can really do is if I refresh this, double check inside of network, and then if you filter by doc, give that a refresh and hit this, you should see some Cloudflare stuff going on here, right? This is exactly what we want, but all this does is tell us it's going through Cloudflare. It doesn't actually tell us whether it's hitting pre-render or not. You will start to see Let's have a look at our cache manager. Okay, so it hasn't finished caching even. So once that finishes caching, the only thing we'll really see is we'll start to see a graph here. How many hits we've had or anything like that. Inside of Cloudflare, you will start to see some requests coming in and all of that lot. But if we hold on just for a few moments, keep an eye on the cache. Okay, and you should see that these are coming up cached. I mean, it's giving me an SEO score. I don't really mind about that because this is a dummy website anyway. So with that, 
we can now go through and if we go to the website and go to the page that is the offender, you'll see instant loading. There's no step-by-step. -step. There was three steps, I think, before. Um, if we go to the network here, you'll see it's coming through from Cloudflare and all the rest of it. And then, of course, our filtering still works. So this is perfect. So there we go, I hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know if you managed to successfully integrate with prerender.io. Like, subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, happy no coding.